what's up guys this message is for for you men but it's geared towards uh, hopefully women hear this message as well you know it's not geared towards women but it is me speaking on something that women don't truly understand when it comes to men and that is how we size up women as men from our perspective when men meet a woman or they see a woman they automatically the beauty is what grabs that man's attention first and foremost but they also are subconsciously looking at her mannerisms things that men don't really elaborate on enough at least in my opinion <laughs> and they um they look at how she carries herself is she out in the streets now guys will see a woman and they'll be turned on by a woman that's even for the streets but men when they when they find a woman they can categorize as different this really is what men i don't care who the fuck you are men love to find a woman that at least up here initially says okay this woman's different i'm gonna i want to see further i want to see more i want to know more about this woman we love to find things that are different from what the average woman is doing out here in these damn streets. Basically, when we when we find a woman that ain't for the streets, we know it. We know it right up front. And for all these women that go on TikTok crying, all these guys pumping and dumping me, it's your fault, bitch. It's your fault. You are projecting 304 energy and guys are picking up on that as well. Now, most guys will just fucking run through your ass. It depends on when you catch me. You catch me on a slow Tuesday, I might do the same to you. Is it because I'm a bad dude? No, it's because you're a 304. So I don't feel bad for you. And I'm not trying to be an asshole. But men can instinctively pick up on fucking women that are not 304s. Women that are not for the fucking streets. Men can instinctively pick up on this right the fuck away. Now, we still want to fuck them, too. You can believe it, but it's different. This is when a man goes into a different fucking posture in the way he deals with this woman. This is where, for the most part, that man turns the manipulation off. The man will actually go into a, a different posture where he is on guard, not in a bad way. He wants to listen to what she's saying. He wants to get to know this woman. He likes this woman beyond sex maybe he hasn't even slept with this woman yet this is what they never talk about in value when it comes to men men categorize women too just like women do it when it comes to men women categorize man as uh resource material simp or blow my back out and nothing more chad or tyrone but men also categorize women too we categorize women as main bitch or side bitch that's really the God's honest truth. So when we find that main B, we are actually, are, we're happy about that. We want to put the energy and the effort into getting to know this woman. We want to improve her life. And this woman that understands the, these dynamics and she gets past that first stage, if you will, this is where typically a man will entertain a relationship or a commitment with these types of women. So I'm sick and tired of people like uh, watering down the intuition of men. Like men that can pick up on those 304 signals right up fucking front. Right up front. There are women that I know are not for the fucking streets. I know. But I know it when I see it. I can't describe it, but I know it when I see it. It's about energy. It's about energy. Am I picking up 304 energy? Cause like, if you catch me in the right mood and you put out 304 energy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add to your tally and ensure that you stay a 304 and I'm out of here or you're out of here, whichever, you know? But the thing is, is like, when you're not, putting out that 304 energy we're still attracted but I, i'd argue it's a stronger fucking attraction i can't even describe men are attracted to women for a number of reasons not just the way she looks that only gets a man's attention initially but a man loves to to meet a woman that's different 
This is where men will capitalize, not in a bad way. This is where men say, oh, this, this woman's different. I actually care about where she's from, who she deals with, what her past story is. Like this is, this is, this is a whole different dynamic. Now I meet some average 304 thought in a club. I don't, I ain't asking these questions. I don't care. I don't care. But it's nice to meet something different or meet someone different. So with that said, like guys, value your intuition and make sure that women value your intuition because truth be told, if she has a problem with the fact that you do that as if they don't do, do the same thing, like it's a it's a compliment that the fact that you're entertaining this woman and she's made it past the first fucking phase. To to her, that should be a goddamn compliment. I I enjoy meeting different types of like different women women that are different. They ain't out here acting and moving like these average bees out here in these damn streets. I enjoy it. it. It it really makes it worthwhile in a lot of in a lot of ways. It just does. Do I still want to sleep with these women? Sure, but I might be willing to wait a little bit. You know, I might be willing to move a little bit differently, and be more strategic. Not not in a manipulative fucking way. No, <laughs> but not mess it up. But I can tell that she's doing the same fucking thing with me. Like, we can't pick up on this shit as men. We can tell if she's moving around in a certain way as well. If she's playing games, she's out of here. And hey, she might throw your ass out of here too. You might not be up to her standards. You know, it's what it is. But when you meet that woman that's different, you'll know it. And you need to own the fact, and you need to have no qualms when it comes to explaining this shit. If you have, if, if I mean, she's worth explaining it to. But this is the thing, is the women that sit here and complain and bitch and moan, a lot of times, these are the same fucking women that we've talked about putting out that 304 energy. Woman, if you're getting pumped and dumped, there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you. Because when men meet that woman that is not for the streets, we know it. We know it. Now, sometimes y'all can pull the wool over our eyes. Facts. But we know non-304 energy when we see it. So if you're out here getting pumped and dumped, you're you're basically telling every other man you're pump and dump material. You're side bitch at best. You don't even realize you're doing that. You're you're digging your hole even deeper. Men do have big ass hearts, and they don't talk about this enough. Men truly want to find a woman that's decent, a woman that to care for, to make her life better. A woman that they see could add to his life. That's deep down inherently in all of us, no matter who the fuck you are. Now, finding these unicorns, if you will, are damn near impossible. Facts. But that doesn't mean that men don't want, they won't know it when they see it. Men will know it when they see it. When men find a woman or they even, like, right off the jump before they've even talked to her ass, they will fucking know it. They will know, oh, I want to talk further. I want to know more about this woman. She's not a, she's not giving off that 304 energy. She carries herself different. She moves differently from these average scallywags out here in the streets. Oh yeah, men's intuition is absolutely fucking more powerful than most people give us credit for. Men pick up on that shit. Listen, you know, you've heard all the stuff about how women size men up from a distance and they know whether or not they're going to sleep with that dude in the first fucking 5 seconds. And that's true. We do too, guys. A lot of times we know, bam, non-304, right away. Right away. Non-304, I want to talk to this girl further, even if I'm attracted to her. And I want to turn her into a 304 for me. Just for me. Not everyone else. Women can't wrap their minds around this shit, but it's the God's honest truth. We size them up right away as well. We put them in one of two categories, main bits and side bits. We still fuck both of them. But we don't put the energy and effort. Sorry, when the lights come on, I got to click my AC, my, you know. We don't put the effort in for the 304s. We'll still, we'll bang them out. We won't even hardly try. We'll, we'll, we'll give them some lazy ass fucking pipe, you know. I don't care if it makes her happy. I don't even care if she comes. 
But when you meet another one that's different, you know what I'm saying? That non 304 energy woman, the woman that moves different, she's sexy, she carries herself differently, she's not giving her attention to every man or vulnerable to attention from men. She's different. These are the types of women that men take serious to the next level, at least. And maybe they don't make it past that, but still, this is this is how it works and how it moves out here, like in today's times. So for all the women, if you're watching this and you don't like the way you've been treated by men, you got to look at yourself. Just like we don't like the way women have treated us. We have to look at ourselves and say, what are we doing wrong? Even if it's not our fault, technically it is. People are going to treat you according to how you treat yourself. And when I see a woman that treats herself with such dignity and respect that she don't give her body away, I fucking smell it from a mile away. I can literally smell it on that woman. This, this, this woman ain't easy. And that's a good thing. So with that said, I just wanted to put this out there. Men's intuition is, I would argue, so powerful. And don't be afraid of it, guys. Don't be afraid to voice it. Don't be afraid to use it. Don't be afraid to trust it. And don't be afraid to let these women know why you're doing what you do. As I said, I've knocked down a few of these 304 energy scallywags. It just depends on the day. Like right now, one shows up, I'm not in the mood. She can keep moving. But a slow Tuesday, certain situations, yeah. I'll, I'll toss her right back to the damn streets. But I know right off jump, right off rip, before I've even piped this bitch down, if she's for the streets or if she's to be taken serious. I know it before I've even talked to her. We can smell 304 energy on a woman from a mile away. So let's just be honest. Let's just fucking tell the truth. Am I alone? Is it just me? Or can we be honest about this? Men can smell slut from a mile away too. With that said, I'm signing out. I love y'all. Stay strong, protect your ass, strap up, and listen. Trust your intuition. Trust your gut. I love y'all, and I'm signing out.